Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Dying sucks. It's a sad fact of human existence. When you're young, the inevitability and permanence of death are hard to conceptualize, but experiencing the deaths of loved ones sure makes it real in a heartbeat, or lack thereof. Despite our impotence in the face of what is surely an inescapable fate, humans have been trying to find ways to avoid death since time immemorial. Modern medicine and digital media have come a long way, but the fact remains that we're all just going to rot in the ground someday. That is, unless one of these kooky scientists proclaiming the advent of human immortality turns out to be right. Will we really soon be able to cheat death with the help of technology? Number 10. Regenerative Blood Transfusions Although the concept sounds a little ghastly, dare we say vampiric, it could be used to extend the human lifespan by 10 to 20 years, perhaps more. Scientists have observed that a protein called GDF11 is very common in the blood of young mice, but it is scarce in older mice. This protein has been shown to increase skeletal muscle and increase heart strength. If it can be replicated and combined with our growing knowledge of synthesizing blood, regenerative blood transfusions could become commonplace in the not-so-distant future. Number 9. Longevity Pills a pill that triggers the anti-aging enzyme sirtuin-1 could, it is estimated, extend the human lifespan by as much as 15%. One example has been developed by a startup pharmaceutical company called Elysium, whose basis, NAD plus supplement, is thought to slow down the aging process. It is the culmination of 25 years of research and has begun human trials, so you might see in a chemist's near you soon. Number 8. Nanobots the microscopic bots could one day be used as drunk capsules that directly target the disease and deliver the cure without affecting the entire body. Some scientists claim that eventually we will be able to inject tiny nanoscale machines into our bodies that act like tiny pharmaceutical labs. These tiny robots would be able to detect a problem inside of your body, process your body's natural enzymes and proteins into a drug, then deliver it to a problem spot. Imagine never being sick again. Nanotechnology is already capable of some incredible things. At the same time, there are scientists that say it's impossible to biologically live forever because our bodies would age no matter what. Research suggests that by solving one problem, the body ends up with another. There is a normal cell cycle in our body, and if good cells are boosted, then cancer cells have a better chance to grow and even more violently. Number 7. Living in Android Bodies there are people now who are trying to unlock the secrets of the brain and then make it possible to upload that person's mind into a computer, which would free them from their biological body. All of the evidence in theory says that this is possible, although it's extremely difficult at the present time. That's because we simply don't have the technology to map the whole human brain. Of course, there are others who say the human brain cannot be replicated because you cannot code all of the emotional things that make us human. The interesting thing about this whole process is that if it were possible to digitize human consciousness, you would be able to move between bodies, both real and synthetic. Number 6. Longevity Genes Scientists have been trying to identify longevity genes by studying 152 Spaniards and 752 Japanese centenarians. This study recently did identify several gene variations these groups share. This is also supported by other work using gene therapy on yeast involving the protein ISW2. This showed that lifespans could be extended by 25% using this sort of technique. Number 5. Cryonics Cryonics is an effort to save lives by using temperatures so cold that a person beyond help by today's medicine can be preserved for decades or centuries until a future medical technology can restore that person to full health. Cryonics sounds like science fiction, but it is based on modern science. It's an experiment in the most literal sense of the word. As we mentioned before, some believe medical science will advance so much in the next decade or so that people who are cryogenically frozen could be brought back to life and have their health problems cured. At this point, they could live forever. Until then, the person stays frozen inside a deep freeze chamber. Imagine being in one of these chambers for 100 or maybe even 1,000 years, and then being brought back to life in an unknown future where anything could be possible. Of course, the procedure of preservation is experimental, and no one knows if it will be possible to bring someone who has been frozen back to life. But if you are interested, there is a company that was founded in 1972 called Alcor, 
where you can become a client of this company. And when something happens to you, the company immediately steps in as soon as possible to preserve your body and your brain, apparently. At the Cryonics Institute in Michigan, there are nearly 2,000 people signed up to be frozen immediately after they pass away. And as of January 2018, there were 160 patients already frozen in tanks of liquid nitrogen. And for the record, for those who are curious, the first human ever frozen by cryonics was Dr. James Bedford, who passed away in 1967 and is still in his cryonic chamber after 50 years. The big question one needs to ask themselves is, do I really want to live forever? Cryonics patients are no longer frozen, but vitrified. First, the body is placed in an ice water bath. Then, ice-resistant chemicals are pumped into the body, taking the place of water in the blood. That way, in the next step, when the body or brain is cooled to well below freezing using nitrogen gas, it hardens without forming cell-damaging ice. Vitrification has been used effectively to preserve blood, stem cells, and semen. But restoring life to a vitrified human or to an organ as complex as the brain remains an unfathomably distant prospect. Sounds scary, and apparently no humans have undergone the procedure, even though some testing was recently cleared. We will surely hear more of this in the future. Number 4. Gene Therapy Studies have shown that if gene therapy can induce cells to express telomerase, it can slow down the biological clock. Experiments in 2012 were actually successful on mice and extended their lifespan by as much as one-fourth. Adult and aged mice were treated with the gene therapy, delivering a rejuvenating effect. On average, the mice lived 24% longer. The older mice lived 13% longer. The therapy induces an appreciable improvement on the animal's health and delayed the onset of age-related diseases. The genes were treated with a DNA-modified virus. The viral genes were replaced by those of the telomerase enzyme, which plays a key role in aging. Telomerase repairs the extreme ends of chromosomes and slows the cells, and therefore the body's biological clock. Number 3. 3D Printing Organs 3D printing is developing incredibly fast and could soon be used to routinely print replacement body parts like the human heart. Advancements have been made very recently by a UK team successfully printing replacement corneas and is helping push this technique forward. If this technique could be extended to using fat and collagen to print new hearts, this could add decades to donors' lives. Number 2. Cloning Organs and finally, in our list of theories and technologies that could extend our lives is an alternative to printing organs, cloning. Cloning is not a new technology, but it could be used to grow new parts of your own body. Scientists have already been able to grow body parts like ears, bone, and skin. And once perfected for more complex organs, it will be used indefinitely to extend someone's life. Number 1. Artificial Intelligence Ray Kurzweil a futurist who is currently working on the Google's machine learning project predicts that by 2029, humans will be extending their lives considerably or even indefinitely. He said we could enhance the human brain and give ourselves a godlike ability by implanting tiny robots that connects to cloud-based computer networks. The National Science Foundation gave about half a million dollars to the universities of Central Orlando and Illinois at Chicago to support researchers who are working to discover how they can use artificial intelligence, computer imaging, and archiving to generate a duplicate version of real people. SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who has been constantly in the news explaining how AI is going to destroy the world, is even backing a brain-computer interface called Neuralink. This company is still in its earliest stage, though, and has very little public presence. Neuralink is focused on creating devices that can be implanted into the human brain to allow humans to improve their memory and to have a more direct interfacing with computer devices. Musk told a crowd in Dubai, Over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. He added that it's mostly about the bandwidth, the speed of the connection between your brain and the digital version of yourself particularly output. While most people think this kind of brain exists only in science fiction, Elon Musk thinks we need to become cyborgs or risk being relevant. More so, Gordon Bell and Jim Gray from Microsoft Research have been researching on how the information a person had ever heard can be retained, and according to them, it's already realistic. Interestingly, it requires less than a terabyte of storage to store this information. That's basically because there is need to have it in high quality. 
On the flip side, the speech and text recognition technologies are some of their biggest challenges. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.